What's going on everybody? This is Patrick with Mad 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Okay, first adventure of the season. Might as well be where we did our last adventure of the season. We're going to LBL, Land Between the Lakes. But today, we're going to the north section. We're starting at the midpoint and working our way north. Now I got a couple things that I want to go back and see that I went to a couple years ago and we want to go back there and we want to explore north. Now I have everything all set up. Got Gaia going to be ready to fire up here in a minute right now. I'm just using it for regular GPS. I got the Talk Pod GMRS radio in case we have a problem. Plus Zilio, plus cell phone, plus cameras everywhere, everywhere. And you will be seeing a lot of different angles on this particular ride too. Um, should have another ride coming up next weekend that may be a week or two out before you see it. But I want to try some of these angles when we do that ride. Um, try some different angles with the different with the articulating arms there will be more on that on MTO productions if you care to watch that there, there will be a link down there to MTO productions if you want us to check that out alright guys we'll be back once we get there um, I've got an hour and 22 minutes of drive time I'm gonna listen to the radio and uh, just relax. I got a little bit of a late start. But you know what? I'm on my schedule, not anybody else's today. So, see you in a minute. What's going on guys? We are here. We are at Land Between the Lakes, our first adventure of the 2024 season. Um, got a few things I'll go over in the truck. I got a little food, some water. Got this pack um, to make coffee here in a little bit because I'm about out. And um, well, this uh, channel runs on two things. And that's not drugs and alcohol. That's afterwards. Uh, we run off of coffee and um, adventure <laughs> anyway got a cemetery i found here just getting off the road this is 153 uh like i said i wanted to go north this year this week in today i'll get it out in a minute but uh i thought i missed it i thought i missed the turn off but i didn't but i got something else we're going to go to here in a little bit but right now, I'm going to walk around a little bit of the, here at the cemetery. The first cemetery. I mean, literally the main road's right there. And this is 153 here. So you can see main 153, main road. But uh, we'll be veering back off that direction here in a little bit. But want to check this out real quick. You know how we are about these old cemeteries. Uh, pay our respect. What a stone that has nothing on it. Pay our respect to some of them. Uh, find some really interesting stuff. Um, but uh, it is, let's see, temperature and time. It is 1019. I just got to, and it is 42 degrees, but it doesn't feel like it. The wind is trying to blow a little bit, but not bad. Uh, these are fairly recent. You have to go, <coughs> we'll go down here. It looks like there's a couple of older, older ones. But um, this is one of the things we like is finding these old cemeteries. And here's one. So if you wonder about the coins on the headstone and why not to bother them, 
that's another serviceman that has come through this cemetery and seen that basically you're buying a guy a cup of coffee on the other side so what i'm gonna do now is get back in the truck <clears throat> but yeah we get a kick out of these old cemeteries um just history you know what did these people do you have to think about that what did these people really do back then but let's go on the road let's uh oh look here here's another one of those step softly an angel lies sleeping here shirley brown december 19th 1946 died oh wow oh wow christmas of 1946 that's I think that's one of the I think that's probably that one right there takes the cake of the kids we've seen buried that one takes the cake right there Bill would probably agree with me on that one that one's probably one of the hardest ones I, I, I couldn't imagine that you're a parent you know what i'm talking about all right guys i'm gonna get back in the truck we're gonna head on down 153 here at land between the lakes all right i was just checking this out real quick it's not really marked i know why it actually goes to that land right there the farm so i'm sure a farmer gets through here but i'm not nope not today if it was a little drier might tempt it I mean I can make it through that no problem it's here and getting up that I don't want to screw up so I'm not going that way I mean I can, honestly I could do that but I'm by myself I'm not gonna do that even if I had somebody else in the vehicle I still ain't gonna do that but uh, this is a shortcut to something else and i don't think we've done it but it's pretty I've been a horse through here but anyways um we're gonna get turned around and back up and out got a spot up here i can turn around we'll back up to it's not far but uh <laughs> as I'd like to do that not going to do it by myself not today nope. that to be back home at a certain time well today somebody been shooting skeins or shotgun shells behind under the truck right now and there's a dead ski 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 all right Start okay so that was a little campsite back there um I marked it on Gaia as a possible you know camp spot it's it's primitive very primitive there's a fire pit so that means if there's an established fire pit okay so no it's just right there i mean it's a circle through you could actually pull in a couple vehicles you can get a couple vehicles in there no problem in camp but there's you can see the fire pit over to the left so that, that yeah, yeah and there's a creek right there you need to take a bath <laughs> all right um that's not far off the beaten path i'll give you that it's not um but yeah, it would do i mean it really would it would do so all right trying to get to a spot for you guys we'll see here shortly trying not to knock the new front end alignment completely out of whack today so we're going to be dodging some holes
Alright guys, I, I think this is a cool place to make coffee. You got this little stream running right here. Just drove through there. Nice little hillside. There's actually two different fire pits. We're not going to use a fire pit on this. We're just going to break out the backpack and stove, boil some water, instant coffee. Uh, that kind of thing so hang out okay so said coffee for said rest of the trip is this right here and that is black rifle cup coffee company vanilla bomb instant coffee now i actually had this um at the uh, uh, youtuber meetup in south carolina and i really really liked it a really good flavor and I, I like vanilla creamer in my coffee so I'm just going to use one because it was pretty stout. It was pretty damn blame stout. Now I'm going to throw my trash back in the bag I got it out of. That way when I get home later, I will take the trash out of that bag and throw it in the trash at home. Pack in, pack out. We'll dump a little extra vanilla in there because I really like it. And this is boiling, so we can turn this off. If you're wondering how I'm doing this on my tailgate, I'm shooting a video here. Anyway, if you're wondering how I'm doing this on my tailgate, my tailgate has two cup holders on it, so I can sit the little gas canister right in one of them and boil my water. Let's get that off of there. We'll dump it in said cup. Perfect perfect amount and we'll let the cup and everything cool off for a minute and then uh, we'll get ready to move on I still haven't gotten to where I want to yet a couple places I want to get to man that's perfect I couldn't hit the heat on that again if I had to my extra long spoon for getting food out of um, out of uh, freeze dried so we're loaded back with coffee. Let's see. Yeah, that's the bomb right there. I got some crackers I'm gonna snack, snack on real quick too. Um, letting that cool off. It won't take just a minute for that to cool off. Then I can put it back in the pack. We can move on down the road. That is beautiful right there. If I was a little closer, you can see the creek a little better here. I'll turn you around. All right, this road's gotten out of hand. Uh, it's not what it's supposed to be. But you see what's in front of me. I'm not doing it. Coming up, I was actually, it was actually, uh, wasn't good. So I'm going to try to turn around. Yeah, I'm going to try to turn around and uh, go back. This ain't going to work. I can't do this in the Titan. I mean, it looks like it, it's been kind of soft all the way. So I'm going to do the right thing, guys, and I'm going to turn around. I was trying to get you up to Bald Knob, uh, the fire tower area, which should be just right up there. Somewhere. But I'm going to find a better place to turn around and get go back the other way. We'll find something else. This is a bust for now. I probably could do that. I mean, it's not. It'd be. I'd have to be, you know, on it hard. And hope it's not soft under there. And that's the thing. All right. Let me. Um, let me figure this back around out. Okay. I'm going to back up. A couple feet. I'm going to nose it up in here. It looks harder than up there. And then I'll do my 600 point turnaround. We'll head back down. I shouldn't have done this. But we'll get out one way or the other. Bill, I hope you got the cell phone on you. <laughs> All 
the main thing is is not to give it sudden hard gas. Go easy with it. That'll look, that's what'll get you in trouble. And I got a tree behind me, so I'm not sinking down in this up here very much. So that's a good thing. I'm not sinking down. About to that. We're gonna go back up and out. It's not far. It's not too many cars, but you'll hear I'm driving. Just if you see in the mirror. It's twitchy. And I had to dodge a pretty decent uh being fairly decent, but somebody was wrong. Alright, so I ran into some guys as I was coming off of 153 that I was trying to go down and I said something about it is starting to get kind of iffy for a two-wheel drive and the guy looked at me and goes, yeah 153 is considered dirty deeds this time of year and I said, oh, he said, yeah, he said, we steer clear from that one um, this time of year when it's really wet, he said, it can be pretty nasty and I said, well, I almost got to where I was wanting to go, and I said I had to turn around. I was like, because it was just too much. I said I was afraid I'd, I'd end up in a world of hurt, especially by myself. And they said that was a wise choice, and I said I thought so too. But he said during the summer it's dry, so redemption this summer. But um, anyway. He said I can still get to the lake from this direction. Um, something shut down up here, so I won't be able to go through a certain area. I can still keep going a certain area. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Back okay, I made it to Synergy Lake, which is right there. Behind me is Lake Barkley. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go from here. I guess we stay on this. Going up. I'm going to stay on this and going up a little bit. It's all asphalt now. Um, Kentucky side's a lot different. And you may be asking why I didn't go to the Tennessee side where I would normally go. Well, they're doing a feral hog hunt this weekend. And they've actually got a lot of the roads closed for that. And I, I don't want to be mixed up in the feral hog hunt at all. Um, don't, yeah, no. Check out, check that box off. I don't want to be there. See some jeepers across here. They've been having fun. Um, but I'm gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go over Energy Dam. Turn the camera around so you can see. This is called Energy Dam. And that's Energy Lake, and that's Lake Barkley right there. Pretty lake. Well, Carlos, I guess homie just pulled up the e-brake and got out and started fishing. 
and I guess it's gone. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. He pulled up the e brakes and fishing. <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go on. Um, not sure where. <laughs> um, I didn't. I mean, I thought we've been up in here before, but all this is looking new. So we'll just do what we can. We've got a couple more hours that we can tootle around. Um, am I getting hungry for lunch? No. Do I probably need to eat lunch? I already keep my sugars and everything right? Yeah, probably so. But um, Kentucky side of Land Between the Lakes is definitely different. So keep it in mind, it's a lot different than Tennessee side. Guys, we're at beautiful Taylor Bay, part of Lake Barkley, right behind me. I think at this point I'm gonna have me a little snack, not a full-blown lunch or anything, just a snack. They're coming through the microphones real good. Oh, so anyway, yeah. Um, there's an RV camping here. There's some people's fishing down there. There was a couple that pulled in right there beside me. And they pulled right back out and they saw cameras. I guess they were doing something they shouldn't have been. I don't know. But anyway, um, they got a lot more to explore on the northern end than I thought. And there's a lot of things I got to watch out for. Um, it's deceiving on the road numbers and how the road conditions really are on the Kentucky side. So. With that said, we may not come back up and, to I me, mean, we may come back up here at some point and camp this spring. What? Shh, shh. Anyways, uh, I'm going to get a couple things out of the truck, snack, and then uh, I don't know if I'm going to go any further north, I may go further south, but I can't go down into the lower section, so... We'll see what I can do. I'll look at the maps. I got to change batteries out on the GoPro and the Insta 360. There's all that. Snack of choice combos. Okay. I've filled up an SD card. I've never done that before. I haven't taken the first picture. I have a 35 millimeter with me. I haven't used it the first time. I'm only just robbing the roads. Paying attention to what I'm doing. Excuse me saying this, but this is damn pretty right here. Wind's not. Barely a breeze blowing, that's it. What am I doing the rest of the year? I don't know. Tennessee version of uh, YouTuber meetups kind of up in the air right now. A lot of people are having a lot of hard times getting off work so may have to postpone this year but if I postpone that I will be doing other things I will be doing other camping trips maybe we do some three days two nighters different states this year something I've really been contemplating on this winter I want to camp in Kentucky and I want to camp in Alabama but when I go, I'll make it worth my while. Kind of like when I went to East Tennessee, I spent four days. Went to South Carolina, spent four days. That's kind of what I want to do with um, this year. Who knows? I mean, what'll come up? I'm wanting to do some other things though. So, anybody wants to hook up and go camping? Let me know. I can't do too wild of camping. I mean, I've, I've still got to be able to set up my tent. I hadn't figured out how to sleep in that thing behind me. As long as i got a good place to set up a tent, I can get to it without destroying the truck. 
we should be good to go. So if you want to camp with old mid tent outdoors this year, email down the bottom. Hit me up, let me know. Make it happen. Okay, here's where I started today. You can see behind me. Laying between the lake sun. There's the big bridge. Fix and go back over it. I'm calling it a day. 30 minutes early, but hey, I got other things to do. Had a good time. Learn something and well, we're gonna try some new things later this year. But it is that time. The end of trip. Take five. So if I take anything from this trip, it's good to get out. It's good to get out first. Second, um, I want to do some camera batteries today. I wasn't expecting them to go that go that fast on the 70D. But something to learn. Or putting it on an ice pack wasn't the best thing in the world. This camera uses battery faster than my SL3. So I gotta keep that in mind. Um, we'll see how the footage is and everything on this one. That's it for this one, guys. Appreciate you watching. Glad you hung with me. Hope you hung with me. I'm gonna get this old DB back to home. I'm done. Y'all have a good one. Hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, share. Hope you enjoyed it. Be prepared. I'll see you on the next.